Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So after taking on those two warlords to the west of us, uh, the warlord to the east, which was who was probing us a little earlier before we went out, out west, um, decided to go for an all-out attack on us. And he's taken a fair bit of our territory. Um, so we're just in the process of interdicting one of his units moving towards our main headquarters on the planet. So we're hoping that the Night Gods can take care of that. If not, uh, we've moved the um, Dragon's Rejects and our Militia unit uh, back to the main base. Um, so we're going to interdict these guys here and um, hopefully we can take them out. If not, we'll seriously damage them and then withdraw and then hopefully our other units can take them out. So let's just move up here yep. and hope things don't go too bad for us. We've got a... Uh, a copter here on radar. I'm not sure how I want to play this out yet. Um, I don't want to get too close until we find out what we're up against over here. Now we've got good sensors so hopefully we'll be able to pick them up at long range. What's up, boss? We've got a couple of good long range uh, mechs as well too so maybe we can do some damage here at range before uh, we get into a close melee. So this is the other thing too that's I'm going to point out. So with the um, the uh, land air mech that we have, this kind of thing will be a uh, will be a problem as well. So if we're in uh, land mode, we're obviously a lot higher than the ground, so we'll be able to be targeted from across the map. So we need to be careful about that too in the future. Uh, now we only have LK on this guy. We've got 240 rounds, so that's what 10. Uh, 90 is another 6, 8, no, 6, 2, 4, 6, yeah, so we've got 16 rounds of firing, so we should be okay taking a shot at this guy, and we've got to take this guy down, he's got a lot of uh, energy weapons on him. Okay, he's panicked already, now we've got two more LRMs that we can use, we've got our two vehicles. I'm receiving you. Now he might not be able to see us. Either that or he's just got close range energy weapons. Um, we got tandem. We've got 60 tandem and 100 inferno. On the mist link. So this is our... This is our... Um, flamer unit basically. If you want to call it that. So we've got 16 turns of firing with this as well. but And we've got the bolt on rockets and the small ER. So I think I want to get into small ER range but leave everything off. Everything else. On the way. Double time. See if we can pick up any more. Okay, we got something else over here. Ooh, we got a couple of things. Predator. Ballistic 260 armor. Almost nothing. I have no I don't know what it's got on it. We got a transport unit. Probably a machine gun. And a galleon. Three energy weapons. Alright, we're gonna continue firing at the Mattis, I think. Um, let's leave these off for now. Actually, you know what? Can we... I wonder if we could put a barrage down in there. Is it going to let it... We can't... see this, can we? Got it, Commander. Oh, we can. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Because there might be more over there. Ready for orders. We just can't see them yet. Want to get that early barrage out, I think. Now let's get to a position where that vehicle can't see us until it moves. Um, let's get into here. I'm liking the mongoose now. I, I mean, I'm kind of missing the uh, the um, ER large on this guy, but the fact that it's got way more weapons to fire and can stay like, a lot more heat efficient, I'm kind of enjoying it a little better. And the fact that it hits with really low chances to hit and destroys copters in one shot, I'll take that. I will not say no to that. We, what do we, this is the Galleon. We can get a direct line of sight on him. We've got, what, 14 turns of firing with this thing? 14 and change. Uh, let's get into here, see what our chance is. 3.6, huh? 0.9, but this guy's almost got no armor. I'm thinking we're gonna go, well, actually let's hold off. I was just thinking we could shoot this guy because he's got really low armor and any damage that we, oh, this is Centurion. Well, he's in barrage range. 
Yeah, I knew there was more guys over there. I'm here. Any extra little bit of damage that we can do to that guy early on Confirm. makes it easier for him to kill later. We're going to move in here and brace, though. We're not going to fire. So it looks like we got a Centurion up. So I'm thinking what we're going to do, uh, game-wise, is we're going to take uh, all of the urban mech parts that we've got on both of our playthroughs. I'm going to scrap them all, and we're going to assemble an urban mech unit to accommodate uh, or to help out our vehicle militia, and we'll leave them behind. And then we'll have two units of uh, mechs that we can send out to fight the enemy and still have some defensive units. Okay, we got another urban mech here. Maybe we can pick up some pieces and we can assemble an urban mech unit to defend our main base here. So we don't always have to come back and help out. Okay, looks like the Centurion is the big deal. The transports are the ones we've got to kill. That's a Vedette AC-5, Galleon. Another gets another Galleon. Urban mech has only got his energy weapon. That's the Centurion. All right. Got something you want done? Yeah, we need to kill the Centurion fast. We got to take him down. So let's move up. Let's get I on get him. You. On the move. So this guy. That's an AC-20. So that we switch, we're switching our target now. He's got a missile and a ballistic. Usually it's an AC-10 and an LRM-10, if I'm not mistaken. But we've got great chances on this guy. I want to get rid of him, so let's do it. Okay, good hits. Beautiful, he's gone. Vehicle trash. Excellent. All right. One less weapon system we got to worry about. Let's get in here closer. Try and get as much uh, evasion as we can get going here. Now, I d have added a few of the electronic systems that we picked up in the past few episodes to, to the mechs here. They're kind of scattered throughout the mechs. Now, I also um, did the same thing on uh, the Dragon's Rejects. Added a bunch of stuff. And I moved some of the... Um, on my way. Some of Double. the... Uh, electronics that we had in, the, in their heads around as well. Uh, I'm going to go... Let's leave that off. I'm going to switch to tandem. See if we can get some through armor crits. Maybe we hit his torso and blow up his ammo or something. Nope. Alright. But let me know in the comments section if you guys want me to kind of go through all that stuff before we start fighting every episode. I can certainly do that, or I can get right into the combat, either one. Just let me know in the comments section. Alright, so we've only got standard ammo on this guy. Oh, we got, Infer yeah, that's right, we got some Inferno too. Uh, but we want to go standard on this guy, I think. The chance to overheat the Centurion is probably really, really low. Okay, we got a tag on him. I'm receiving you. Acknowledged. Alrighty. Let's start applying some damage to these guys. Let's get on these transports, I think. Engaging target. Primary target is damage, Commander. Let's get on the troop transporters. That's what they are. So if we can get the, uh, if we can pull this Centurion down, we can come up behind them. If they get too far ahead here, we're going to have to retreat. So the support lance only had three, so we were facing 11 guys. Well, sorry, we're facing nine guys now. 1.5 to 1 odds. I'll take it. I'll take that. I like the fact that the, the clan mechs are relatively really fast too. So, um... In game, like I said in the last episode, I moved to a planet. I mean, technically, we're still on Astrakhazi, but in the game, I moved to a planet where we've got uh, um, higher skull rating missions. So this is a one skull right now, but it's almost—it's giving me the opportunity since I reinstalled um, 
the options, it's giving me the opportunity to actually face clan units now, which is cool. So, um, when the rest of the Smoke Jaguar clan arrives on planet, we can be facing them too. So, it will give us some chance to, to actually fight some uh, much tougher opponents. But for now, we're going to keep it with Inner Sphere stuff. Because technically, you know, the, the units on this planet um, are Inner Sphere units. Okay, there's nothing over there, unfortunately. But if we can get that barrage when it's back up into here or something. Order. Let's get on the Centurion. I want to get some more flanking shots on him, so let's get over here. Aye, aye. I'm def I want to shoot this side. Um, because this is where his AC is, and if we can take his arm off, then he's not a threat at all. Confirm. Ready to get it on. The one big thing about... Um, and I'm sure you guys know this, but the one thing about... One big thing about playing... Um, Battletech is knowing where your opponent's Wrong. weapon systems are. Now, I'm not... You know, obviously you can tell from my playthroughs, I'm not the best at that. I kind of know. Um, only based on the mechs that I've actually played. Oh, it's an AC-20, but it's gone, so I don't care. Alright, now we can... I await your command. We'll leave those two guys there. We're gonna move back and engage these guys. Acknowledged. Now, I don't think we're really that in range with most of our weapons. I'm gonna leave the rockets off so we can get a heavy punch on somebody, and we'll switch this up to Inferno. So yeah, like if you know where your opponent's like ammo is and things like that, you're obviously going to do far better than like not knowing what your opponent has. But I'm sure you guys already know that. And I always find burning through the side of the enemy is usually the best way to go. Primary target damage. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. Because if you're firing from the front, the damage can hit anywhere on the mech. Obviously, except for the back. Um, but the idea is... Um, if you're shooting from the side, you're removing the other torso, the other leg, and the other arm. So you're, the hits are actually going to hit... Um, I guess, more things that you've already hit, if that makes sense. Thus, you can do more damage quickly and on a mech. On a vehicle, you know, it is what it is, right? Obviously, the weaker armor on the sides and the back, but actually, some of the vehicles have pretty strong back armor, too. Okay, so game-wise, convoy's down by two. If they were going to get reinforcements, they would tell us. So they might get reinforcements, but we'll see. Yeah, you run. Oh, you're not running. Okay. Alright, Marlin. Get over here. Stick together, but not too close together. If you know what I mean. Vedette, where's the other... There's a transport there. We can't hit that guy. Galleon's 25. That's 50 on the Vedette. That's actually really good. We're gonna take the Vedette. Now, the Vedette's got half decent armor. I mean, not amazing, but half decent. You know, if you can get a ground vehicle like a Vedette with, like, an Ultra 5 auto cannon on it, that's actually pretty good. The armor on them is actually not that bad. The speed is actually pretty good, and Ultra 5s do pretty good damage, so... If you can grab one of those... I'm still up in the air about, the, about our Hetzer. The armor is okay, but... That AC-20 makes it a, a, just a friggin' magnet, and I wish I could just up the uh, armor on the damn thing. Ooh, he hit his own guy. Beautiful. Damage is light. Oh, wait, maybe it hit, did hit us. The 45 popped up over here, so I thought... No, I think he hit his own guy in the back. I think he hit the galleon. Where are you off to? Yeah, we should be able to handle these guys quickly now. Alright. He's in a bad spot here. Let's go after... Let's go after the Vedette. 
it's more of a threat than anything. And we're going to switch to Inferno because it'll do more damage in firing. Okay, nice shooting. Excellent. Alright, Blade, uh, let's stay on this Centurion if we can. Well, maybe the Urban Mech. On my way. Let's get onto the Urban Mech. And I'm enjoying the Kit Fox loadout too. Not 100% happy with this rocket pack, but it's still a pretty good loadout on this thing, I think. Gives us the ability to engage from range. I will be done. Which in some of our some of the earlier um, episodes where we've been, you know, engaging from kind of medium range, we've been running into issues. So I want to try and stay back a little farther if I can. Now we don't we're not we don't really have the optimum loadout for that. Uh, it's better on this guy. Let's just fire on this guy. Commander. Now we still have the Anubis. I haven't laid that out yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that just yet. Ooh, that's a back shot in the Centurion. Let's just get in here. Roger that. So what do we have in here again? The two galleons are down the hill. Okay, we're just going to fire up on the Centurion. Roger. Ooh, that was horrible. You know, you were a champion there a little while back shooting down that helicopter, but... Yeah, and you know, that continual uh, chopper sound is really annoying. You know, Fistadorn's right. I'm glad that when we took down the uh, the lamb mech that the uh, sound went away. Because having to deal with the continual sound from the chopper is like kind of annoying after it crashes. But they have they came, they came had a new update, which came out I think yesterday. That's got a lot of bugs in it, so they've kind of pulled the updates for now. They're trying to figure out what, well not a lot of bugs, but there's a bug in it. They're trying to figure out what it is. Which is why I don't like up- Ooh, thank you for all the help. <laughs> I guess they didn't. I guess they didn't want me grabbing those munitions. <laughs> they're gonna capture the munitions. But yeah, there was a bit of an issue, so they're working on that now. Uh, what, that's as I was always saying. Which is one of the reasons why I don't like updating right away. Copy that, Commander. Just because you you know you update and all of a sudden things go tits up and then you then what do you do, right? Copy that. Okay, not bad. Yes, Commander. I don't mind being like one or two uh, versions behind. On the move. If it just means that I'm going to have stable gameplay. See ya. Oh, uh, we ain't going anywhere. We still got seven guys left. Or six guys. Yeah, he's only got a medium laser. Or a small laser, sorry. Which is unfortunate. And try and keep myself pulled away from that helicopter sound. Sorry about that, guys. It is kind of annoying. Alright, now we can try and pull the legs off this Centurion. It'd be nice to have a 50-ton mech. That's the one thing we're missing in this lance. Like, we've got a 55-ton bushwhacker and a 50-ton trebuchet in the other uh, playthrough that we have, but we don't have that kind of firepower here. The biggest thing we got is a 45-tonner, which is not a lot. All right, let's get over here onto the side. Moving to position. And let's see if we can pull the sense leg off. How much has it got left? 31? So we'll go with... Uh, we'll leave the rocket pack off, but we'll fire the rest. Target of light. Really? Ah! Orders? Okay, let's just stay in the trees. Rolling. Oh, that was a bright flash. Move around here. I wonder if we need a... I think we need a longer range weapon on this guy, this missed Lynx. I wonder if we can put an ER large on this thing. I got a clan ER large kicking around still, so let's just try with the barrage down there too. Ooh, that's a good placement. I don't think we hit the vehicle. Oh, we may have hit the vehicle. 
Ooh, it's nice if we did. Back it up. Shoot the same guy. So we can hopefully keep the barrage in the same spot. Alright, a little bit of damage. Oh, we got him. Did he bail? He bailed. Pilot ejected. Nice. Waiting for orders. So even if we don't get some good stuff off the Centurion here, we might be able to pick up another vehicle. Let's move. Which would be alright too, I don't mind that. Alright, we're just gonna go this way. This way. This way, he's got 25 left. Hopefully we connect with one. Nope. Damn it. Come on guys, we can finish this up. Let's do it. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, I'm kind of worried about taking a one and a half skull mission. I probably... Oh, we're sitting in flames. That's what the problem is. I mean, I probably shouldn't worry about it, but because it can be random on what you get, right? It could be really, really nasty. It could be a couple of lances of mediums, right? And if they had intact weaponry, we, we could be really screwed, right? You. Unfortunately, this kind of battle is, like, not that exciting. But we're getting there. we got to get... we got two 25 tons, a 35 ton... Or, sorry, a 30 ton and a 45 ton. So it's like... Yes, Commander. And and irreplaceable equipment. So we've got to be very, very careful, too, right? So it's it's kind of tricky here at the beginning of the series. But, you know... We'll get to it eventually. Doesn't matter who we shoot as far as we get here. Okay. That hit something good. They are down to four, it says. Well, four, that I can tell. Come on, you guys. Come and get some. Ooh, he's going through the flames. Got something you want done? Uh, yes, yeah, work on this urban mech. I copy. That's a good chance to hit. Come on. See what we can do to this guy's leg. All weapons are go. Did we get it or oh, we got his arm. Oh, he had an Ultra 10. Solid connection on that one. It's probably a good thing that thing wasn't working. Not probably, I know it was a good thing that thing wasn't working. All right, let's hammer this guy. That one's gone. Locking in coordinates. All right, same idea. Let's go after this Irby's leg if we can. It's too bad we took his uh, his arm. Wow, you're just <sighs> reporting negative damage. Yeah, what you can shoot down choppers, but you sure as hell can't shoot down that guy. Makes me think the first one was a fluke. Moving to position. Let's get around here. Might as well throw up the rockets for this. All right, not bad. I'm out of short-range missiles. He's panicking. Standing by. Thirteen, eh? Um. 
Ooh. Double time. Let's go. Let's get up here. Ah, oh, crap. I just drove into the barrage. Because that was smart. One more for the rubbish bin. You got that right. Orders. Roll to that. All right, let's just hammer these guys and get it done with. 30, 56, fire at this guy. Okay. Burn, you bastard, burn! I good thing it was only a couple points damage. Could have been really bad. Alright, can we get around there? Probably gonna have to go through the fire. Let's just go. Take the heat. Drop some heat. Ready to get it on. Are ya? Okay, let's get over here. I'm gonna try again for that leg. If we can knock the Centurion down, I might be able to pull the other leg. It's a big mite. Roger Use the that. last rockets. Well, there's the leg. Critical. I'm out of short range missile. Come on, just bail out. That should be another wound. Down to one. What's up, boss? What do you think? You think you can shoot that guy in the head? Acknowledged. You think you can get him in the head? Knock him out? Maybe? Bar it all? Locking on target. Nope. Ah, damn. I'm here. Um, can you get around there? Oh, you can. All we gotta do is plink them once in the head. Yeah, I really wish they had waypoints in this so you can go click, click, and click to see where you're gonna run. But whatever. Oh crap, he's almost dead. All we need is one plink in the head, guy. One plink. Use the Inferno. Nope. Solid connection Panicking, now. though. Commander? Um. Uh, Affirmative. See if you can get a head plank on this guy. Took a bit of burn damage. Come on, just one plank. Well, he bailed. All right, we'll take it. Commander. Don't move to shoot this guy. The bailout, I think, is actually better, because I think we get... Oh, head hit. You got a head hit on him, though. Because I think if he bails, I think we get all three parts. Which we are definitely going to be taking in the salvage, because having a 50-ton mech is going to make all the difference in the world. We got the 30-ton Anubis, but it's got four energy hard points as its main weaponry, so I don't know if I want another energy mech, and it's not going to be any better than the Climax we have right now, so... I don't know. I'm kind of up in the air with it right now. It has more armor, but that's about it. Alright, let's just straight up shoot this guy. Gonna use the Inferno. Wanna see if we can get him to bail. There goes the right torso. Panicked. Okay, can we shoot his leg off? There's the question. Yes, Commander. It's gonna mean you're getting a little bit hot here, I think, but... Well, I don't know. I'm steady. Yes, Commander. That's a front shot. Can we get a side shot on that guy? Like an opposite side shot? No. 
All right, I don't know what's worse, Inferno or Tandem on this guy now. Tandem's probably a lot worse. So we'll just go with Inferno. Firm. Come on. Yes, beautiful. Mission successful. All right, so we made out really well on that one. You know, I'm just thinking about, too, that the helicopter sounds. It's really not that bad. Kind of makes you feel like you're in a... Uh, what? Yeah, screw you. We're not going to give it to you. I want those parts, man. Okay, we got two Centurion parts. We'll take them both. Um, galleon parts, transport parts. We don't need any of those. Predator tank destroyer. 45 tons. A lot of front armor. And an AC-20. There's the urban mech parts. Okay, AC-20. Ooh, medium pulse laser. We'll take that. I should I should have taken the two urban mech parts, but I really think we need other components. Beagle probe. Um, 210 core. We're probably gonna need well we got a one we got a two ten core already. Okay. I was gonna say we need a core for the Centurion, but that'll give us the core. I think we should take the Pharaoh though. We've got one. Okay, so I think we're okay with the Pharaoh. Um uh, basic sensors, standard cooling, warfare suite, three tons, sensor lock within three ten. It's not bad. Flamer, LRM, LRM mag pulse ammo. ECM jamming and one heat damage dealt. Reduces cooling efficiency by 1%. That's actually not that bad. MRM racks. Or ammo, I mean. Who had the MRM? Maybe one of the transports or something had it? I don't know. Um, <sighs> ER small. Yeah. We need longer range weapons, not shorter range weapons. You know what? Let's grab the warfare suite. We don't have any of these, right? No. We'll grab the warfare suite. We might, it, you know, I don't know. Three tons is a lot for, like, the mech weights that I have right now. So, but we'll grab it. We might use it. Okay, we got two transport parts. Mantis part, predator part. We did get an urban mech part, which is good. LRM-10, we've got two of them. Uh, let's just go ahead and sell that one. Gonna have, we've got six medium lasers, so we can sell one. 70 core. I gotta hold on to it because, well, we're not gonna be putting an urban mech together for these guys, so we'll just sell it. Internal combustion can go, structure can go. AC5 and AC20 ammo. I'll hang on to the AC20. It might cut. I, I don't know. We'll see how. It, we'll see what it does. We'll just hang on to it. Okay, well, having destroyed their vanguard force. Uh, the Night Gaunts have pushed on. We're going to try and recapture one of the bases they captured just a little while ago. It's just up here. We're going to go move ahead and scout it. It does have a uh, Leopard landing pad, which is really important. So uh, we'll be able to move some supplies forward. Right now we're being resupplied by ground. It's not quite a, quite the ideal situation. So we're just going to move forward uh, and hopefully on the move. this is an easy recapture, but we'll see. I don't know. All right, let's keep our vehicles. Well, we want this guy up a little closer. And this guy, uh, maybe back a little farther. I don't know. Copy that. Let's keep him near the Kit Fox. Okay, uh, we need to get up out of the water and up this hill really quickly. Okay, aye Kit aye. Fox is in a good position. Put you on the flank. Acknowledged. And you're going to come in here and support the Griffin. Roger. And you can follow up. Then the Hunter should stay with the Kit Fox. Okay, we're out of the water. Good thing. Once again, I'll reiterate, if you guys don't know, 
If you're in water, it's just easier for the enemies to get a sensor lock on you. Uh, move up over here. Heading out. I'm your spaniel. Acknowledged. Move order received. Okay. And then get you up as far as we can. Stay in the trees if we Here can. We go. Gotta stay frosty. This could be an ambush. Alright, let's just pull up out here. Get a better grouping on everybody. Uh, let's keep you... I think we'll keep you with the griffin. Let's move up. Get on the flank a little bit. On my way. And you can support... Location confirmed. And we'll get the LRMs up and behind here. On the move. Alright, still pretty quiet. Um, kind of like nervous to move out in the open here. Let's get you on a firing line down the road there. Move out there. Back to the wall. Roger that. Modern operational military base, eh? Watch for reinforcements. I haven't seen any enemy yet either. Okay, pro provide some fire support. Bring the lerms in here. Roll to that. Pacify the area around the base. Occupy the fortress. Well, I don't see anybody here. Um. Let's just set up a firing position. Look down the valley. Copy that. On the way. Look down the valley. Confirmed. Same with you. Acknowledged. And the LRMs. Let's just keep them here in the center. Affirmative. Still nothing, huh? Well, we don't see anything back here. I wonder where the enemy is. Um. I await your command. Moving to position. Uh. Let's not get too far down the hill. We do need to scout. Location confirmed. Rolling. I'm going to keep the striker up here with these guys. Coordinates received. And then we'll keep the uh, hunter over here with these guys. Moving to position. I generally don't like splitting my forces like this, but until we know where the enemy's coming from... Oh. Picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Oh, they're behind us. Talos, Goblin... Plainsman and a ripper. Waiting for orders. Get back here. Full speed it is. I'm already there. Now it says pacify the area around the base, but I don't see anything other than these guys. Ooh! Nice shot! Vehicle trashed. Thank you. Um, this Talos, I want it. I want it real bad. It's got a large laser and a machine gun in the vehicle. SRM-6, AC-10, pair of LRM-5s. Um...
Not the best chance to hit, though. Do we want to go right up this guy's nose, though? That's the question. Let's get over here. Let's see if we can put some barbecue on this guy. Okay, a little bit. Not much. Doesn't even show up in his heat bar yet. I live to serve. Same idea, buddy. Same idea. Maybe not. We are not within strike range. Let's get into here. Affirmative. Uh, let's keep it on tandem. I want to save the Inferno from when we're closer. We have a better chance to hit. Same thing with the rockets. Take the shot. Okay, barrage is down. Negative damage. That side. Ready to get it on. Full speed. Okay, next turn you should be able to fire. Depending on where they move. Stand and buy. Same thing with you. I'm gonna keep applying a pressure to this Talos, regardless of what the best chance to hit is. All right. That's a miss. Yeah, that uh, helicopter sound, in a way, is kind of annoying. It's not anywhere near as annoying as the jump jets on the, uh, the LAM. Where are you going? You're running. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. Oof, nice shooting, buddy. Hey Marlin, can we get a shot on that goblin? I got a feeling it's going to be really annoying. Um. Oh. And then we get out of the barrage for next turn. On my way, double time. Much as I want to shoot this guy, well, 37% now. That's a back shot, though. 43 on this guy. I think the goblin's got to go. It's got lots of armor, so let's soften it up a bit. Yeah, see, like, this is a one and a half skull mission. I'm kind of shocked that we got so little in the way of enemies. It's, it's tricky, right? The balance is really tricky. You could just walk into a nightmare and get just completely obliterated. Especially when you're dropping in a random location. Right? Like if you choose a random location, like normally on this map, you'd spawn like over here. And I did consider it, but then I was like, normally the enemy comes from here and sometimes they're here. So I thought I'd change it up, come from here, and if they spawn right on top of us, then so be it. Then it's a trap, right? I'm receiving you. Uh, you need to be like... Not... You can go right there. Right here. It's not the best on this Talos. But I want to keep him nice and toasty here. And he's taking his okay damage here on the side. So let's keep it coming. Got it, okay, his heat bar has gone up now. Out of short range missiles. That's all right. We got lots more. Yes, Commander. Got lots more on everybody else. Oof, not the best place to be. Still long range. Probably better chance to hit the enemy and less chance to hit our own guy from here. So move into here. And I think we'll leave the medium laser off, but we'll just shoot the rest. I copy. Okay, two hits. At least it looked like two. Alright, let's get right up on this guy's nose. The 
Yeah, that chopper sound makes it feel like that we're in the chopper looking down at the battle. Alright, just hammer him. AC-10 is gone. Nice and toasty. Lost evasive. Unsteady. Let's get on that guy. Affirmative. This Kit Fox doesn't quite have the speed of everybody else, but it does have longer ranged weapons, so that's kind of a bonus. See if we can knock this guy's ass over. Ooh! Somebody's running XL. One left target. Waiting for orders. What have I said, guys? XLs, don't do it. Don't do it. Ten four. If it's an inner sphere XL, that is. If it's a clown XL, you're good. You're gold. Wow. There's some of that dirt around there, eh? I don't, ooh, that guy's got some shots going on. That's what's up. Commander. I think we're a little close for the ult, for the uh, LRMs here, but yeah, it just severely dropped down to fifteen percent. We can't target that guy, so we'll just fight this guy anyway. Wait, does this guy have a rocket pack? Is that what he had, or just rockets? Mine dispenser, okay. Wait a minute, that's the planesman. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong guy. Oh, interesting, okay. I guess his mine dispenser must have been broken. You know that barrage really isn't doing much for us, but... Ready for orders. It's one ton and it's cheap, and that's why it's there. Alright, let's not get too close to these guys. Let's get into here. Moving to position. Okay, hammer this guy uh, going inferno. Panicking. Same idea. the best positioning, but good positioning to finish this guy up. Inferno. Oh yeah, I forgot he's got so much uh, armor. He's panicking though, isn't he? No, not from that. Good to go. Can we get... How far can we get? Ooh, good. We can get a side shot no on him. Shooting, just running. Oh, you got shooting to do, buddy. I don't think he can punk out of that. Alright, rocket packs up, firing. Yeah, there you go. Live by the large laser, die by the ER large laser. That's what I say. Alright, let's get this guy. <laughs> I don't say that, but that's... It kind of works for this one. Alright, target this guy. See if we can get him to bail. Acknowledged. Panicking. What do you think? You think you can get him to bail out? Moving out. Yes, Commander. All right, Rose, get some shots on this guy. Can you get in there to direct line of sight him? No, huh? All right, well, don't stay in the landing zone. That w that's what gets you dead. All right, let's drop some shiz on this guy. All right, one hit. We'll take it. We shouldn't have even got one with those percentages, but that's fine. One is better than none. I really hope they get another set of reinforcements after we kill this guy, but I doubt it. Oh, he, he bailed out. <laughs> Look at it. I guess he bailed out because he ran through the fire and took damage. And it came to rest on the top of the hill. All right, there it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, well, with such weak military forces that we've uh, faced here, leads me to believe that the uh, the uh, Eastern Warlord's uh, main force is probably uh, someplace else. So we're going to have to find that. Uh, we only got one Talos piece, but we'll take it.
Um, goblin medium tank. I don't know if I want the large laser tank. SRM-6, ferrofibrous. Uh, not much here, is there? We'll take the ferro just because. 180 core. Tell you what, let's take two cores so we can get some C-bills out of this. And we'll let the dice roll where they fall where they may. Alright, we got the goblin planes. We got all the vehicle parts except for one ripper part. LRM-15, we've got one. We'll hang on to that one. Get rid of the machine gun, get rid of the regular armor, get rid of the 70 ton core. Uh, we've got these to sell. What's the 180? Do we have one? We don't. Maybe we should hold on to it. Nah, sell it. Structure can go, structure can go, machine gun ammo can go. And SRM ammo, we've got four. That can go too. All right, so we made it, we made out pretty well on that one. All right, let, before we go end this episode, let's quickly go into the mech bay. I'm interested to see if we had extra Centurion parts of a different make. Now we still got the we got a Jenner we can put together. Yeah, so all these urban mech parks, I'm going to sell them all, except for the ones the two C of of course. Going to sell all the rest of the parts, um, and then we're going to put together a. Um, an urban mech home defense unit. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, but I'll go ahead and do that between episodes. I'm going to sell a bunch of this lower vehicle crap too. Like the Mantis part, the Ripper part, transport part, things like that. Just get rid of them. Alright, but I'm going to end this episode here guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. Oh, also too, um, the Anubis here. If you guys have any ideas, I'm going to open it up real quick once again just so you can see what it's got. Now normally this is supposed to be a missile mech, but it's this is like the laser version, I think. So it's got two uh, laser points in the arm here, a ballistic in the head, which I mean, you know, if we had a, uh, a uh, what's it called, um, one of those small Goss uh, weapons, we could, uh, mag shot, we could put it in there, but we don't. Uh, a support hard point in the CT. And two laser points in the arm, so we got we can put four lasers on it. And I mean, we don't really have much. We have an ER large, a clan ER large, uh, medium pulse, like mediums, regular larges. But the problem is, is the heat, right? That's the big thing that we have to worry about because um, I don't have double heat sinks to be able to put a double heat sink kit in here. So we either, if we're going to go with double heat sinks, I got to go with a huge core. Right, like a 250 core, which I don't think we have. Uh, where are our cores here? Those are the heat sinks cores. Here we go. We got a 245 core. We got a 270 core. But I mean, like, as soon as you drop it in, like, that's it, just not going to work, right? <laughs> um, we go just straight up with regular internos, internals. The one you got, Pharaoh. We don't have any. Uh, what's it called? Uh, you know. We could go with an XL engine, but even then we're, we're, we're looking at, you know, what, five and a half tons of, uh, five and a half tons of, uh, thing with no, uh, ability to, um, um, raise our armor anymore, which is one of the things I want to do with this guy if we're going to bring it into service. So, I mean, we do have two lasers in here already. So really we've got, what, seven tons? I don't know. Maybe we can make it work. Maybe. We got a clan double heatsink kit, but no, but no clan double heatsinks. So it's a tough one without double heatsinks. This thing with four lasers. I mean, we could go with four mediums, I guess, or like if we put a half decent sized core in here, or we could just, like I said, we could make it a, like not like I said, but we could make it a double large laser platform and just have it stand back and shoot. And just pump a whole bunch of heat sinks into it, give it a smaller core. If I had more flamers, I could turn it into a flame unit. I don't know. Well, I don't know what we would base it around. That's the thing. This ER large laser with 45 heat. You need a double heat sink kit with it for this. You can't go without it, right? And a regular, like I mean, you could go with a large, I guess. A large and a, and maybe these two. What's the heat on these guys? Fifth, that's 15 already. And 7. 
So, I mean... I don't know. If we're going to go XL, we need full armor. You can't go without full armor. Um, oops, not strip. Max armor. Yeah, so we got, what, four tons now left? Five and a half tons? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know, you see what I have. I don't, I'm not really working with a lot, unfortunately. I mean, we could go with a 245, right? It's slightly lighter, but if we go standard heat sinks, what speed is this giving us? Ridiculous speed. 812. I mean, we could go, well, what would this give us? 710. It's pretty fast. I mean, we could turn it into a striker. If we leave the XL off, that would give us another ton and a half here. So we'd have like four tons. We could put four medium lasers on it, turn it into a striker. Already comes with a built in ECM. So that's a bonus. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. For the price, like if, if we go XL. I could sit here all day and, and monkey around with this thing and trying to get it to work. What are we looking at for price? 369000 I think I would rather save the sea bills and get that junk leopard earlier. But I'll, you know, I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Like we can't turn it into a large laser platform unless we drop. But we've only got two regular heat sinks? How do we only have two regular heat sinks? I don't know. Like if we go with a pair of larges, then the core would have to be super light. <laughs> you can't even get it with a 130. 105. Yeah, anyway. Not without the XL. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I don't know. I'm not convinced it's... I, I think we should just probably sell this, unfortunately. I know it's the first extra mech, well, besides the Wasp, that we picked up. Like, even the Jenner would probably be better, you know? The Jenner D is the laser version, I believe. And the C has got the slave unit. Uh, one missile, three laser, one ballistic hard point. This guy's got four laser and one ballistic... One, uh, Ballist or missile, sorry. I think I would rather go with this and see if we can get a C3 slave, but I don't know. You know what? Let's bring it forward. Why not? It's only 24,000. Cheap as hell. Basic upgrade of the Jenner JR7K, huh? Alright, I don't. Doesn't look like we got much out of this guy. One jump jet. Oh, the C3 unit's still in intact. And one heatsink, isn't that great? Like, we could probably do a lot more with this thing. The armor's better, too. Like, if we max out the armor, it's not bad. Right, we can pull a jump jet for now. Had medium lasers, case, jumps, ferro, 245 core. Sorry, if you, uh, I'm just going to be mucking around to the end of the episode. If you guys want to, like, bail, go ahead. But um, I'm just going to be mucking around here a little bit. So we got that. Internals. Regular Pharaoh. So we're looking at... We need one more heatsink, which is fine. It's free anyway. So we're looking at, what, five, six, seven and a half tons? That's actually, that's actually pretty respectable. Seven and a half tons. Like, already it's better than the other mech, right? We'd still need to go with standard heat sinking. But because we've got a missile hard point, that gives us the ability to use a... Um, like, something. 
Like we could drop the heavy rocket launcher 20 on this guy as a punch, right? And use the speed to get in behind the enemy. And then as backup, we just go with mediums. You know, three medium lasers. So if we put the heavy rocket... Oh, this thing's got a lot... <laughs> That's a lot of space. Rocket pack 10, that's a lot of space. Well, 20 pack of rockets we could throw on this thing. 600 meters. I mean, the other thing too is we go with an SRM-6. Uh, then we need ammo. Regular SRMM. I'm just going to drop stuff in for now just to see what we can get out of this thing. Uh, weapons. Could go with paramediums and a flamer. Or we could go three mediums. It leaves us half a ton. Or what if we stay with two mediums? Well, the ER, Clan ER Small is doing almost the same. It's lighter. Um, or, if we're going to be closing with the enemy, go with a medium pulse. Medium pulse, ER small. Oh, uh, can't swap it out, eh? Won't let me do it, will ya? We got what? Half a t we got just a almost a full ton left. Now, do we have, um, no, we don't have any, we got a tagger, though, that's one and a half tons. Laser AMS is how much? One and a half. Yeah, it's kind of tricky, you know. We still don't quite have enough gear. I think the next, the next few missions, I think we should just be going after gear. Now, we haven't had the... You know, we haven't got the t uh, had the ability to go after a lot of good gear. Well, wait, our Alpha Strike is... Wait, how we only have 30 heat sinking when we've got three extra heat sinks and this core only requires two? Is it not counting this one? Maybe it thinks it's broken still? I don't know why I would put the C3 unit in the torso. Um, I think that's what it's doing. I don't know, man. Anyway, I'm going to get this guy repaired. Let's just uh, go back and we'll confirm that. We're going to get him repaired. I think the Jenner is actually better than the than the Anubis. I know it's five tons more, but the fact that we do have that, um, let's go ahead and uh, repair all. The fact that we've got, um, take that off, um, the extra missile point as opposed to all lasers gives us a little bit more flexibility to run this guy slightly differently. We got two support points too. We got a ballistic point in the torso here. Maybe we find a way to get the Ultra 10 in there. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. All right, um, all right, I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. We'll figure this out later, but if you can, if you guys can think of a loadout, just let me know. It's definitely something we can monkey around with. I mean, we could put an SRM-4 in instead. Drop the heat a little bit, drop the weight a little bit. That'll give us more weight for lasers. I think SRM4 and 3 mediums is a standard loadout for this thing, but maybe I'm wrong. Oops, cancel that. Let's just go ahead and... Wait, 333,000? Really? 38 days, huh? Let's hold off on repairing this guy for now. We'll hold off on repairing him. Keep the C-bills. See what we get over the next few episodes. All right, but I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If it did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, 
We'll see you later.